Like the majority of Mongolians, generations of Setska Munkbayar's family lived off the land as nomadic herders. But their lives would change forever with the departure of the Soviets in 1990. Mongolia was suddenly in dire need of capital investment. Lawmakers allowed 37 foreign and domestic companies to mine for gold on the Ankh River, a vital waterway running through Munkbayar's Gobi region. Gold can bring eternal happiness and also tragedy without end. Aggressive mining is destroying Mongolian culture and negatively influencing our traditional beliefs about environmental protection. I realized that our water was becoming contaminated and my river was dying. This experience prompted me to act. For centuries, the Unk River flowed across three provinces in Middle Gobi, supplying water for 60,000 people and one million head of livestock. As gold fever spread across Mongolia, unregulated hydraulic mining diverted ancient tributaries. By 2001, the Ankh River, one of Mongolia's largest, had completely dried up in Munkbayar's village. Munkbayar enrolled in journalism school, completing his thesis on the impacts of mining. Soon, he was elected head of the Provincial Citizens' Council, extremely rare for a traditional herder. In 2001, he founded the Ankh River Movement. He established this movement by his hands, his head, his intelligence, inspiring people to get together to protect their rights. He's really a hero. This movement has taught people not to rely solely on the government, demonstrating that ordinary people can change things if they take the initiative. My Buddhist faith greatly influences my work. When a person has faith, he can achieve a lot. Many people try to discourage me, but my beliefs and my family helped me to remain true to my commitments and goals. Mungbayar's efforts convinced the government to enforce regulations and stop damaging mining activities. Through the media and his personal involvement, Munkbayar was able to represent the public's concerns and draw the government's attention to this issue. He managed to unify several different opposing factions, and I decided to support his movement. The Ankh River Movement joined forces with ten other river organizations as the Mongolian Nature Protection Coalition. Under Munkbayar's leadership, the coalition emerged as one of the strongest civic groups in Mongolia. Because of his lobbying, 35 of the 37 mining operations in the Ankh River Basin have ceased destructive operations. He fought against us, demanding restoration of the land where gold mining took place. As a result, in 2006, we performed full restoration at our mining site on the Ankh River. Munkbayar now lives among his people, who have migrated to Ulaanbaatar. And through him, the coalition learns about their needs and concerns. In spring 2006, the coalition pressured parliament to amend Mongolia's national minerals law. And for the first time, local citizens have a voice in granting mining licenses. The key to Munkbayar's success as a leader for responsible mining in Mongolia is that he's had the courage to acknowledge that mining could be good for Mongolia as long as it's done in a very open and participatory way. From a small river movement to a national coalition, Munkbayar's efforts have established citizen oversight through the entire mining process. And for the first time in eight years, the Ankh River started flowing again. Clean water and air are life itself for Mongolians. We say, blue sky, father. Divine Earth, Mother, we believe and respect this in our hearts. Because we're children of Mother Earth, this is our philosophy. For outstanding environmental achievement in Asia, the 2007 Goldman Environmental Prize is awarded to Setskav Munkbayar, Ulaanbaatar, Mongolia.